Hello, my name is Sang Lee. I'm an Applications Engineer at Yokogawa Corporation of America. Today, I would like to show you how to make accurate power and temperature measurements simultaneously in real time. Typically, to make accurate and precise power measurements, you would use a true averaging power analyzers. The problem here is that the power analyzers do not provide measurement inputs for temperature measurements. In addition, the required instrument sample rate for, making pow for measuring power is a lot higher than the instrument sample rate required for making temperature measurements. With these limitations, most engineers uh, commonly resort to using two independent devices for making power and temperature measurements. The data is then combined using post-processing tools for analysis. The problem here is that you have to take extra efforts to synchronize the measurement time made by two, de two independent devices during post-processing. Using Yokogao's GP20 portable data acquisition, and WT1800 power analyzer, the synchronization process can be done with ease and simplicity. Apart from measuring temperature, the GP20 also supports the capability to connect and communicate with the WT1800 power analyzers via Ethernet. The GP20 can now read all the power measurements directly from the WT1800 and store them simultaneously together with the temperature measurements. With this configuration, you can now measure both power and temperature simultaneously on the GP20. No other synchronization of data in post-processing is required. For demonstration purposes, I have connected a thermocouple that is measuring the room temperature to the GP20. I also have WT1800 that is measuring the line power. The two devices are currently connected to the company network. Since both of my instruments are connected to the company network, I need to turn on the DHCP settings on for both instruments. Once the IP address is assigned to each instrument by the network, I can confirm the connection between those two instruments through GP20. After the connection is confirmed within GP20, I will set the measurement channels to import the power measurements from WT1800 to GP20. As shown on the GP20 screen, I have the numeric data showing temperature measured directly from the GP20 and imported power measurements from WT1800. I can also customize this, my display to show bar, numeric, or trend displays for my testing. All these measurements can be saved either to my SD card or USB or onto my network. Since both measurements are taken simultaneously through GP20, I do not have to go through the hassle of combining both data together from post-data processing. In summary, this is ideal for performance evaluation testing because you can record instrument power consumption, temperature, and other phenomena simultaneously. This is it for today. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please contact any of our applications engineer or visit us at tmi.yokogawa.com.